welcome back to Tavern Tales and this experience on Arietta of Spirits. I, I sh honestly shouldn't really be saying that, but, well, I guess. I, welcome back the last time we left off. I, uh, we, we kind of got our, we got uh, our ring back, or grandma's ring back, and and said our final farewells in the dock, and well, we, we have a ring now, or for the most part. In the end, we got the ring. Like, Mr. Frodo, you have the one ring? No. And now we are tasked with finding a an entrance to the yeah find find your way into the silver mine yeah whatever that is uh so, uh yeah, I haven't recorded this in a few days just upload just got done editing this like second like section I think but like I just going north here. I still can't do anything about these friggin' larger friggin' bushes, you know? It's, uh, it's always a kind of a pain where you just can't go anywhere yet, but, uh, oh, look, oh, there's a little, is that a bird feeder or just a birdhouse? Maybe it's for the squirrels. Maybe they fight over it. Maybe they fight over it or something. Well, get your controls straight. Oh, cutscene. Yay. Oh. Oh, is that Midri? Hi, friends. It is Midri. Great. Oh, man. I'm glad to see you guys made it out of there. Out of that forest last night. It's been quite a while since I've seen, seen a bound anywhere near in these parts. Well, I... Am I really the only bound I've seen... I've seen, you've seen. Am I the only bound you've seen, like, ever? Like, have you seen any other bounds? Like, are there any other bounds in this world? I'm so happy. No. I'm so happy. No. No, it's like, stop copying Capri Sun. Well, it's like, I can't help it because it's just so quotable, you know? So happy. You know, so happy to do it, you know? Stop that. Major the merchant at your service. Oh, he's a merchant. Wait, why would a why would a spirit need money? Like why like why would a spirit need money? Although on the side of on the lean side with stock right now, why am I playing with a twist tie? I don't know. It's on the cord that had my microphone on. My microphone cord. Hey, what? Hey, what's what's that you got there? Huh? This thing? Oh, the black melon we got last episode. <laughs> I think. I think we got it last episode. <laughs> if I remember that correctly. Do you know what this is? That's a Romer core you're holding. Oh, it's not even a... It's not even a black... I mean, it looks like a melon. <laughs> a Romer core. You guys took down one of the big ones. One of the big ones last night, huh? Great. Oh, man, that's just great. You're really something. Yeah, for a, a bound. Like, like, some sort of, like, chosen one here. Like, what is this? Like, I don't know. Do you know... You do know how to use it, right? Uh, no. Do, what? Do you drink it? Like a melon? No. Use it. Like, I don't know what... I, don't, I really don't have any idea. Arco didn't tell me shit, so... What ideas do I... I don't have any idea. Oh, you're, you're just asking him now. That's... Uh, don't look at me. How should I know? I'm not a roamer. I mean, you could be. You could be secretly. Oh, boy. You really don't know. Do you? Well, I was just told I was a bound, like, to, like an hour ago. Or, like, last night. You know, so, you know, a lot's on my plate. Okay, since I'm a really nice guy. Nice, okay. Oh, hiccup. Fuck. Oh, it's, it's, 
Uh, okay, we're we're far enough into the recording. It's, it's, uh, I'll let you have have something real. I'll let you have something real special that enables you to use it. And I'll. <laughs> huh. Completely free too. <coughs> I'm. Just... Wow. So, wow, my acting is terrible. Normally, this would cost you an arm and a leg, but here, just take it. What is that? Is that a key? Is that a key? Is that a spirit key? A small key? Big key? Boss key? What is it? Some kind of key? I just said that, Ari. A key? That's funny. What's a key? <laughs> Friend, that's a spirit siphon. Okay. Oh, so I get. Is it like the vacuum cleaner in Luigi's Mansion? Just stick a ro that Romer core, and you can start filling it up with Romer essence. Essence. You can get. You can gather Romer essence just by talking. Talking down the. Those multi. By taking down those multiplying ant menaces. The spirit siphon will suck the essence inside. Inside the core auto magically. It's that's not the word for it, but okay. Auto magically. What the hell is that? When you have a rover core filled up, filled up, you can increase your max life energy by one. Oh, so is it like heart pieces or something? Like pieces of ass? No. Like pieces of heart? <laughs> pieces of heart? No. It's... It actually sounds kind of awesome. What's maximum life energy? But wait, there's more. Like every infomercial guy ever. <laughs> but wait, there's more. The best thing you can use the spirit siphon multiple multiple times you should come across more Romer cores. Don't just toss it away once you've used it the first time it's filled up. <laughs> once you have the first one filled up, jeez. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Why would you ever do that? <laughs> you know? Uh, okay, just keep that in mind when you... Just keep that in mind. Keep in mind that you can only fill one Romer core at a time. Okay. So I had to keep killing bosses. That's what they're taking care of. How about you take care of yours? Wait. I thought you said this was free. I mean, yeah. No such thing as freebies in the world of business, my friend. No such thing. Well, you, you just said just to take it. You know? <laughs> you just said just take it. Uh... Being a bound makes you spe special since you can interact with between both realms, as you know. D don't, uh... Uh, just like that one Shyamalan movie that's just a disgrace, you know. As you know! The Fire Lord has banished his son, the Prince! No. No, stop. Don't ever quote that movie again. Like, uh... That movie's so bad. Is it the... Is it... It just so happens that items from the human world are hugely sought after in the spirit realm. Like, why would you need our stuff? Like, we don't come come to your place and... and our st I've already set my eyes on a few exotic pieces across the island. I would like for you to bring these to me. I must say, I'm fairly acquainted with the human world. With the human world, having observed you humans for quite a while. These spirits are just, are just stalking us. Like, they're just everywhere. Like, I can't get rid of them. It's not great, but, I mean, what are they doing? They're just waiting. Or they're just watching and waiting. Or waiting, I don't know. Maybe both. I said and earlier. I have no idea what these particular items are used for. Or what they're called. Great. Yeah, that is exactly why I find them so interesting. 
I mean, why do you have them? Why do you need them in the first place? Oh, if such a fine price in Spirit Realm. Like, <sighs> Take this task list. It holds a description of the, of the items I need. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Figure them out easily. You seem like a smart girl. Smart gal. Smart gal. What is this? What is this? The South? <laughs> Guess we're going item hunting then? So it's like the trading seat. Wait, it's nothing at all like the trading seat, but it's just a fetch quest. <laughs> I mean, I guess I guess trading sequences are kind of are kind of like a fetch quest, I guess. If we can manage to find them all, I'll throw in a nice bonus for you guys. I mean, <clears throat> you received a spirit siphon, yay! You can now collect Romer essence by tr taking down Romer enemy, Romer type enemies, but Romer and. God, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Uh, yeah, Romer Essence will be collected in your currently active Romer Core. Once it can be activated to increase your maximum life energy. Yay. Activate the Romer Core in the objectives menu. Yada, yada, yada. Including hints for Midri's tasks. Take a look there, yeah. Well, don't leave me here with Midri. Uh, well... Well, okay, so looks like we need 700 or like 750 of these like crystal things, I guess. Uh, yeah. Um, oh yeah, and these are the, the items that Midri wants. Uh, so the first one should be easy. I've seen one near your cabin. It's uh, it's a kind of folding shade. Hmm. A folding shade. Uh this one's near was near a hidden fishing spot. They have these weird tubes. Tubes with lenses, yeah. The item was stuck in a tree by a string. It had really cool ugh. Really cool, cool, colorful wings. That, except there's no cool there. <coughs> uh, last. Uh, the last one I saw in a place with low light seems fitting because it looks a lot like a hat with a headlight. Well, that might be like a mine thing, you know, a mine. Maybe the silver mine where we're headed, but. I mean, this first one's fairly easy, actually. Um, some kind of falling shade. So I'm, so, I'm gonna head back to our cabin. It's, it's like, what am I doing staying there? It's like I'm gonna cut to going to the cabin, but it's, in reality, it's not that far. Like, it's really not that far. guess. I guess there's another way to go up here, I suppose, but... But... Yeah, the umbre this umbrella here. Yeah, Dimitri's item. Uh, wrong freaking button. Yeah, umbrella found. Yeah. yeah. It's a folding shade. I mean, I mean, umbrellas kind of do that anyway. <clears throat> It, like, it might be used it on the beach or something. 